Hey guys, Tony Denaro here. Welcome back to the channel. Well, the Batman absolutely killed it in the box office this weekend. I'm going to share some numbers with you, my thoughts on the movie, and also my thoughts on what to expect in this uncertain market going forward into next week. Let's get right into it. All right, let's get right into it. Starting off with this tweet from CEO Adam put out today on Sunday. In the middle, he says, gee, I wonder how the hidden meaning people will interpret this picture. And we've got Batman and the bat signal with a huge dollar sign. And that is because the numbers from the box office domestically and globally for the Batman movie have absolutely blown away all expectations. I'm going to go through some of the numbers in this article for you. And the reason that this is so important is that once again, the short thesis, like we've been saying that nobody is going to go to the movies, continues to get blown out of the water. Here we have the Batman global box office bringing in close to $250 million on the opening weekend. The Batman has finally hit theaters and it has successfully claimed the best opening weekend and the biggest international industry opening of 2022 thus far, making almost $250 million in its first three days globally. The Batman movie has become the biggest opening weekend for Warner Brothers since the Joker premiered in 2019. The Batman was helped by excellent scores from both critics and audiences across all major media sites. Rotten Tomatoes has a strong 85% critics rating and a 90% audience rating. All these achievements and milestones further prove that the movie going experience is far from dead. We did go see the Batman movie at a matinee in Texas here on Saturday and the theater was absolutely packed. I want to know in the comments down below, did you guys go see the movie and what did you think of it? As for Scarlett and myself, we absolutely loved it. I love a good dark superhero movie and Batman delivered. In fact, it was hard to get a ticket this weekend, if, especially if you waited to the last minute, you could forget about seeing Batman in Texas this weekend. Now, I don't expect one movie to be a catalyst for AMC stock on Monday, but it certainly doesn't hurt, especially as we continue to stack up hit after blockbuster hit. Just like we had Spider-Man, now we have Batman, and we know there are a bunch more coming throughout this year. The mask mandate is behind us, and things are going to look very good for AMC stock for the remainder of this year. And if I was in a short position, I'd be a little bit concerned and second-guessing my short thesis right about now. All that being said, we still can't ignore what is going on globally right now, especially with Russia, Ukraine, the Russian sanctions, that impact worldwide on the global financial markets, oil prices adding inflationary pressure to different countries' economies. Let's look at some of the numbers and talk about my thoughts on what we're going to see next week. It is Sunday night and we have futures red on all of the U.S. markets. The 10-year treasury continues to fall, currently sitting at 1.685%. Asian markets are open and down, with the Nikkei being down over 3% and Hong Kong Hang Seng being down 3.43%. Oil continues to soar, approaching $130 a barrel, and gold is up to almost $2,000. The crypto market is holding up pretty well, but it is down with Bitcoin sitting currently at $38,100 and Ethereum holding at $2,536. So wrapping it up, what does this mean to you? What does this mean for us going into next week? Well, Batman is going to provide a good catalyst, but it is my concern that with the world financial markets being under pressure, especially with the uncertainty still going on with Russia and Ukraine, and the fact that no transparency regulations are in effect yet, that we are going to be facing a sideways to down market across the broader indexes going into next week, and that will affect both AMC and GameStop. So buckle up, be patient, there's lots of good things to come in these plays later this year. Once the market uncertainty is behind us, we're continuing to build good momentum in AMC. The fundamentals continue to improve. There is, though, one unknown catalyst that has been in play for 11 days. The sanctions on Russia. The impact of isolating Russia from the global economy. 
the impact of Russian bonds being devalued, the impact of the Russian stock market being wiped out. These are the type of events that hedge funds have trouble planning for because these are massive black swan events, things that they have trouble forecasting. And if anything is going to get this play moving and possibly get some hedge funds, banks, or large institutions in trouble, this is the type of unknown catalyst that I've been talking about since the middle of last year. So keep your eye out for that. There is some potential that some action could happen in short squeeze stocks based on the Russia-Ukraine situation. And once again, as always, our hearts and prayers go out to all the innocent citizens of both the Ukraine and Russia. My thoughts were with all of them this weekend as we sat in our comfortable United States environment, enjoying our free time at the movies and out for the weekend. I had a hard time enjoying myself while thinking about everything that these poor people are going through. And again, my prayers go out to each and every one of them and any of you that have family affected by this crisis. I am Tony DeNaro. I want to thank you for watching. I will see you in the morning on Monday when the market opens. Don't forget to buy and hold that subscribe button, and I will see you on the next video.